is dr hari krishna from mangalore having understood the heat of corona pandemic i have decided to make this video to share my experiences of treating infective fevers through sbba guidelines sbba is science based evidence based ayurveda it advocates certain scientific guidelines to treat any infectious fevers i have treated few viral fever cases in last few days after taking consent from them i would like to tell few of experiences which i had in the last week a lady and the son both of them developed sudden onset of fever body ache headache etc in addition that lady had severe nausea and a sense of vomiting both of them were advised with scientific diet medicated water and pinches of one part of medicine was advised to that lady by 24 hours condition improved fever got subsided weakness was persisted for two more days eventually that also got resolved five days back one more lady who was under my treatment for her thyroid dysfunction developed sudden onset of fever terrible weakness headache etc she was very fearful and she was uh, panicked by others around followed the scientific diet and the medicine the next day she was completely okay all right she called me and said sir i'm finally i am fine and i'm doing well i have also treated few other cases over phone few of my patients and their relatives even i had an episode a start of an just an onset of an infection throat pain which got subsided with uh, as soon as i realized and started medicated water and scientific diet within few hours it got subsided all i want to tell you is that fever is not your enemy rather fever is an immune response against the pathogens fever is intended to be reversed and attended through the guidelines of science based evidence based ayurveda rather than going for suppression of it the conventional medical system asks you or makes you to suppress your fever which may land up in emergencies and medical emergencies and complications whereas if you treat your fever through the science scientific guidelines of science based evidence based ayurveda not only you come out of your fever also in addition your chances of developing into the immune dysfunction is nil so people those people who are eager or those people desperately wanting to treat their fevers in a scientific way or through the scientific guidelines of ayurveda here is the solution science based evidence based ayurveda that is sbeba when you follow these guidelines of science based evidence based ayurveda please make sure that you follow it as a whole and do not follow in bits and cuts when you follow it in bits and cuts or compromising with few of the guidelines the intended result may not happen so follow the guidelines as a whole completely without compromising with any of the points so this is the uh, tip with before i sign off from this video would like to tell you one scientific quotation of ayurveda anurhi pratamam bhutva rogah paschad vivardate sajata moolo mushnati balam ayushcha durmate in a just to in a nutshell this shloka or this scientific quotation explains that it says that if you treat your illness in the initial stage itself so there is no possibility of it getting or going to be your enemy in the future or if it's if a, if at all you don't treat your illness in the initial stage itself it may turn out to be your enemy in the future so 
fevers get treated in the initial stage itself by following the SBBA guidelines so that you will stay healthy. You can also save all sort of agonies by following the SBBA guidelines. Hail SBBA, hail Ayurveda. Thank you.